Welcome everyone. In today's video, I wanted to talk about the Drift airdrop and the point system that they announced today. So Drift is a Perpetual Futures Dex live on Solana right now, and they are tokenless. And they announced a new point system today on their Twitter. So let's take a look into it. So how to earn points. You'll be airdropped Drift points weekly based on your trading activity, and you can see your rank on the leaderboards. Hint, your trading activity will earn you the most points. They also want to reward Drift supporters. So Drift's been around since uh, late 2021, and I've talked about it on this channel for a couple of years now. So it's nice to see that they'll reward the people who have been there since the start. So they've taken several snapshots of all of the activity on Drift in the past few months as well. So how long will Drift points last? Their main goal is to reward users, not burn them. The points program will last only three months. And when do points start? First weekly points drop will take place on the 2nd of February 2024. So let's start using Drift and accumulate some points. So if you're not set up on Solana already, you'll need to get set up with a Phantom Wallet and I'll show you how to do that in this video. If you've already set up a Phantom Wallet, you can skip ahead. I'll have timestamps in the description down below. So the first thing that you need to do to get set up is head over to phantom.app and download the wallet there. Once you've downloaded it, you should be able to create a new wallet. And when you do this, you'll be given a seed phrase. That seed phrase allows anyone to be able to restore that wallet elsewhere. It's basically the key to get into your crypto wallet. So write that down somewhere. If you lose it, you won't be able to get your funds back. So once you've got that up and running, it should look something like this. And the next step is to get some Solana into your wallets. And that Solana, is going to pay for your transactions on the Solana blockchain. So you're going to need to go to whatever exchange that you have that offers Solana. For today's video, I'm on Bitstamp. It's quite a reliable exchange. Once you've done that, we need to withdraw this soul into your Phantom wallet. So I went to the withdrawal tab on Bitstamp, went to crypto withdrawal, and then we're gonna type in Solana here press continue and so we need to find our phantom address in order to send that soul to so I'll click on the phantom app go up here and then click this button here and that will copy our Solana address there paste it in here and then send all of the soul available into that wallet so now that you've got that all set up let's deposit into drift so we need to do is press deposit withdraw. I'm going to deposit 350 USDC into Drift. Press confirm deposit and I'll confirm this deposit. And there we go. My 350 USDC has been deposited into Drift. And what's cool about Drift is that whenever you deposit uh, assets into Drift, they immediately start earning yield. So I'm automatically getting 3.44% yield on my USDC deposited into Drift, which is actually uh, pretty cool. So Drift is a perpetual futures dex, but you can also do spot trading here. So they have a number of different markets that you can trade, uh, ranging from Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, all the way to Sui, Helium, Pyth, Pepe. So I'll show you how to place a few trades on Drift. So I'm just gonna place uh, a long. So we have different order types here. So market, limit, stop market, stop limit, take profits, take profit limits. Uh, for this, I'll just do a market order and a long $350 worth of Solana. Now I've got the leverage set to 1X, so this is my entire portfolio that I'm longing Sol with, but you can use up to 10X leverage here. But I go back to $350, press long Sol perp, and this basically just gives me a little confirmation screen, my market order, order size, estimated entry price, slippage tolerance, um, the fees that I'm paying as well, which is 35 cents. And I'll just press long sole perp now. And I've got to confirm this in my wallet. There we go. And if I just click on the positions tab, this should hopefully populate in a second. And I'm long the sole perp. As we can see here, my entry price was $84.88. And let me just close this position as well. I'll close 100% of it. There we go and I'll just confirm this transaction in my wallet. And there we go, I've got a little P&L card here. I was up 0.11% on that trade, fair enough. 
So in terms of getting the most out of the points system, uh, we don't know the criteria for it, but we can sort of assume what the criteria might be based on other um, point systems that we've sent out there for say like Zeta Markets, for example. So for Zeta Markets, you earn more Z-score depending on how much volume you put through. And I assume that Drift will be doing something similar, but they will disqualify you if you're doing wash trading. And what I mean by wash trading is that if you open a position and then close it immediately after, uh, that would qualify as wash trading. So you need to be careful of that. So you can't just keep opening and closing orders on Drift as I think that probably won't count and you might be out of an airdrop altogether if you're doing that. So you'll want to put in as much volume as possible on Drift. They probably will put multipliers on uh, your open interest as well as how long you hold the positions for. So I'm assuming here that the longer that you hold a position open, the more that it counts towards your Drift point score. So there are other things that you can potentially do to increase your drift points accumulated. So they have a spot feature as well. So you can trade spot, Sol USDC, Pyth, Gito, MSOL, Wrapped BTC, Wrapped ETH. So I'll just show you how this works here. So it'll be similar to the perpetual futures, but you'll be trading spot instead of perp. So you won't have to deal with anything like funding rates. So let me just buy $100 worth of Sol, and that should be faster let me just confirm this in my wallet. And down here where it says balances, this should update in a second and I should have $100 worth of soul. Yeah, and there we go. I have $100 worth of soul here and it's automatically earning me 0.21% APR, which is pretty cool. Let me just sell that soul back. There we go. And confirm this in my wallet. So there are other ways that you could potentially earn points other than just trading on the perpetual futures market and the spot market. You can go to the earn tab here and you have various different options that you can choose. So we have the lending and borrowing marketplace, which I'll be taking a look at first. So this lending and borrowing marketplace, uh, basically it functions similarly to any money markets that you see here on Solana, like MarginFi or Camino or other markets like uh, Aave or Compound. So whenever you deposit funds into Drift, they automatically get put into the lending pool here. And that's how you're automatically able to start earning yield whenever you deposit into Drift. Uh, additionally, you can borrow from Drift as well. So you could deposit like uh, $350 worth of Sol and then withdraw $100 worth of USDC and use that USDC to go farm a different Solana protocol if you wanted to. And it's my belief that you'll probably get some points if you're going to be using the borrow function here on Drift. Now, if I go back onto the Earn tab and we take a look at the insurance fund staking. So these insurance fund vaults, effectively what you can do, you can deposit into them and you can earn yield from them. So the insurance fund is the protocol's backstop to maintaining the solvency of the protocol. And so the people that deposit into these vaults will be getting a share of the borrow fees, the spot market exchange fees, perpetual market exchange fees, and liquidation fees. That's why the USDC yield here is at 98.34% APR, because lots of people are using Drift right now. They're placing trades, they're borrowing, they're getting liquidated, that sort of thing. And that's why the yield is so high. For these other vaults, they're a little bit lower. So you have a, a Sol vault, an MSOL vault, a uh, wrapped ETH, wrapped Bitcoin, a uh, Python, and um, a couple more vaults will be coming in the future as well. So keep an eye out for that. If you did want to stake into this vault, just know that anything you stake there cannot be used as collateral to trade against. And if you want to unstake any funds that you deposit into the insurance fund, uh, the amount will be subject to a 13 day cooldown period. So just be aware of that if you need to be liquid. And going back onto the earn tab, we have the market making vaults. So these vaults will multiply your yields with delta neutral market making and liquidity provision strategies managed by circuit. And so what that means is that you can deposit USDC into either one of these vaults and then earn the yield that you see here. What it means by delta neutral is that the price of Sol could go up, down or sideways. It doesn't matter. The value of your investment should stay the same 
but you'll be earning yield from the market making activities that the vaults provide. So you have a Solana one and then you have a Solana, Bitcoin and ETH market making strategy one as well called the Turbocharger, which is earning you 151% APY. And the last part of the earn tab here is the DLP, which is the Drift Liquidity Provider. So you're able to deposit into either one of these vaults, the Sol Perp, Bitcoin Perp or ETH Perp vaults. And so as you can see here, the Sol Perp DLP vault has offered 655% returns in the past 30 days, whereas the Bitcoin Perp and the ETH Perp haven't offered as much. If we just take a look at the historical return here, we can see that it's done extremely well since the start of January, which is actually pretty cool. So that was it for this video, just a look at the Drift airdrop and the point system that they announced. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one.